There are many reasons why seven-seater people carriers have a lot of appeal in the country. It's because of their size, versatility, customizability that suit a lot of needs of Filipino people. But what if you're not transporting people? What if you're carrying uh, four-legged members of the family? Well, we'll explore more of that with our friend Kat. Oh, there she is. Hi, I'm Katrina Lavado Pike, and I'm a doctor by profession. I'm really looking at getting something that can match my daily driving needs and also my weekend getaways. I recently just got married and I've got two big dogs, so space is going to be a very important factor in a car that I'm going to consider. I'm looking into getting a seven-seater car, but with lots of options in the market, it's really confusing. I want a vehicle that has height but not too much so my dogs can jump in easily. I'm curious to see what Eric will recommend for me. Yeah, you've got a long list of uh, needs and preferences, but we'll find the right one, that's for sure. I love dogs too, and I understand where you're coming from. It's not easy to fit them in a sedan, especially yes. if they're, they're big dogs, right? Um, with a full flat rear, you're barking up the right tree, and I think I have just the one for you. I'm excited. Let's go check it out. Okay. Cat, here it is. Wait. This looks familiar. I've seen this a lot on the road. It's the Expander, right? Yep, it is the Expander, but this specific model is called the Expander Cross. Cross? What's that? It stands for Crossover SUV. So how do you like the entire look? It looks good. Okay, well, Mitsubishi Motors has four colors for the Expander Cross. The, we can start with the graphite gray metallic. You can also choose the blade silver metallic, but if you want something more upscale, you can get the quartz white pearl with this black top, or you were asking for this specific color, it's a sunshine orange metallic, again, with the black top. It really pops out. Yes. So Kat, you mentioned you wanted something easy to own and maintain, right? Yes. Well, that's something very doable with the Expander Cross because Mitsubishi used proven engineering. It has a 4A91 gasoline engine that makes 104 PS and 141 newton meters of torque. Plenty for something of this size, mm -hmm. right? It is mated to a four-speed automatic transmission, which is very doable and you can count on for years to come. Now, there are some sections of our roads that are very rough, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Well, Mitsubishi also used a proven formula with reliable components that's going to make this last for a very long time. So that's a great combo that they put together in the Expander Cross. I definitely want something I can rely on in the long run. One of your uh, best criteria, Kat, is versatility, right? Yes. Well, this seven-seater can handle a lot. As you can see, you can sit two in the front, three in the second row, and two right here. But as with the Expander and the Expander Cross, it has a neat trick. You can fold this try. seat flat all the way forward as you can see and you can do it as well in the second row come on over fold and tumble there you go wow that was very quick and easy to do and as you can see there's a lot of space right here i agree and that's very useful if you want to store a lot of stuff carry a lot of stuff haul a lot of stuff it can fit long items even a bicycle but i believe most of the time your dogs will be occupying this area, right? Yes, definitely. They'll be staying over here. Go now, Kat, for your final consideration, which is height, right? Yes. Well, the Expander Cross has a lot of ground clearance, even more than the conventional Expander and competitors in its class. So, if there's flooding where you live, the Expander Cross will definitely be able to get you home. But for the best part, ladies and gentlemen, um, even with the height, it's pretty obvious. The, the dogs were able to get up. Uh, yes. Shadow, Subi are already inside and they're, yes. they look comfortable already. <laughs> yes, it's a big enough space for them. You like it? Good. Now that the dogs are in, it's time for you to take the expander cross for a spin. Sounds great. I really like how high I am in this car. I can see everything in front of me. Um, the side mirrors are also wide and big that I can see the sides well, even if there are motorcycles coming. The steering wheel is very light that it follows 
whenever I turn immediately. The pedals, the accelerators, are also very reactive as well as the brakes. I like how the dashboard is very clean. There's no distractions or unnecessary stuff in it. I also like how cool the air conditioning is, especially for my dogs at the back. They're really very comfortable since they're quiet. I like how smooth it goes. It's very easy to drive. It's very reactive with even small turns. It automatically follows. Even if I'm short and if even if it's just manual adjustment, I had no problem in reaching the brakes and the accelerator. Usually that's my problem. I usually prefer automatic, but in this car, it's no trouble at all. For the infotainment system, even if it's small, I think it's, it's enough for the car. You can see clearly everything. I, up, I plugged my Apple phone and it automatically connected me to Apple CarPlay. The Waze is very accessible as well as the Spotify. So you, you will not have a problem in navigating, while dri even while driving, but that's not recommended, guys. For the safety features, I like that it has a backup camera as well as airbags all over the car. I really like also the in instrument panel for it's very clear even in broad daylight. I can see how fast I'm going. I can see my gas consumption. It's really great. For the interior, I really like how the steering wheel feels under my hands. I also like the soft uh, touch, soft touch leather in the dashboard. I also like the carbon fiber touch in the door handles. The seats are very comfortable and it doesn't hurt your back. So for long drives, I think it will be very uh, fun to go with your friends. All right, number one question, Kat. Did you like the ride? Yes, it's very smooth. It's not matagtag at all. Okay, that's good. <laughs> and I believe, uh, how, how do you like uh, the dimensions, seeing the cars around you? I really like the side mirror. It's very big that I can see all the sides. I can see everything actually. And even the high seating, okay. for a short person like me, it's really nice. Good, yes. nice. But more importantly, did uh, Subi and Shadow like it? I think they really did. Can I get a woof woof? <laughs> no, not at the moment. They're so relaxed. <laughs> they're laid down in the second yes. row. They, it's they're loving of the it. air conditioner at the back. I wish I could join you guys, but um, Tito Eric has work. <laughs> if you want to find out more details, visit MitsubishiMotors.com.ph. Bye. For Bye Shadow, Subi, and Doctora Cat Lavado Pike, I'm Eric Tipan from AutoIndustria.com. <laughs>